Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, I got on my Edmonton shirt. Shout out to all my Canadian subscribers, all 4% of you. I think the last time I looked, it was about 4% of my subscribers are Canadian. If you guys know, yeah, I used to play for them back in the day. But um, today, we're gonna have a million dollar conversations, a million dollar thought, a million dollar idea that can help you guys out. Um, today, I'm gonna be drinking a Houston Brewing Company. And this beer is called Brewston, so let's go ahead and crack this open. There we go. Ah, that's pretty good. All right, so um, I get a million questions. Well, not a million. I get a whole bunch of questions about what do I do for a living in order for my portfolio to be so large. And they wonder how am I able to invest $200 every single week. And they think I'm some rich YouTuber, some rich guy. Uh, I'm here to let you guys know right now, I am super duper middle class, if even that. I am far from being rich, I'm far from being wealthy. I'm the YouTuber that is probably the most relatable to you because a lot of my subscribers are around my age and people around my age usually make around the same amount of money. And I am super middle class. There are a lot of people richer than me. I'm not the poorest by far, but when I say I have an average job that have the average pay, I live in an average house, but, I, but I'm finding ways to invest into real estate at the same time by making smart decisions. And I'm finding ways to dig deep and invest into the stock market consistently at the same time so no uh people say why are you doing an amd series and you're only investing a hundred dollars into the series or two hundred dollars why didn't you buy more if if you could generate this much money from that why didn't you put a thousand i ain't got it i ain't i ain't got that kind of money i mean you guys can help me out by hitting the thumbs up button that that's the biggest way you guys can help me out is by hitting the thumbs up button then maybe i will become one of those big YouTubers that y'all think that I am that has a whole bunch of money to spend, but I am broke, okay? I ain't got that much money. But I was thinking to myself, if if I'm middle class and a lot of other middle class people are not able to invest how I'm investing, uh, it, it all depends on your life, your lifestyle, your choices, and, and all the other choices that you make in your life. So I usually buy things that can make me money if it if if i can't buy something and it doesn't make me money i'm not really down for it so I, I could so i don't buy too much clothes but when i do buy clothes that shirt is gonna last me five ten years right that shirt is gonna last me a very long time and then once once it hit a certain threshold it becomes vintage and becomes back cool again right so i don't buy a lot of clothes i don't have a lot of cars just one car a couple of clothes and i play video games here and there and i watch tv netflix and chill but some people that want to invest and say that I ain't got enough money to invest, it's, it's all about your lifestyle choices. And some people right now can start from zero and in a couple of months have $250,000 invested into the stock market. And I'm going to explain to you guys, how can you do that today? Just by simple lifestyle choices. I mean, some people uh, don't eat avocado toast. Some people drink a Red Bull every single day. Some people drink coffee every single day. If you eliminate some of those choices and you invest that money into the stock market, your account will start to grow slowly, but for surely over time. So I, as I was sitting there thinking, I was like, man, I don't know why everybody on YouTube think I'm rich. I'm, 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 I'm not rich. But an idea that I came up with was a lot of people live in very, very, very expensive places. And as I was looking for houses around in the Houston area, uh, properties to flip, properties to buy, and or to rent out, <laughs> this is a good beer. But when I was looking for houses around in this area, it got, it got me thinking that uh, one of my buddies from LA, he came out here and he was like, dang, I could buy a house this big for $250,000 in LA. I, I can't even buy an apartment for $250,000. So let's say if you live in LA or New York or in Edmonton, living in Edmonton is expensive. So if you live in New York, LA are one of the most expensive cities in America. If you have $500,000, you're probably living in a 1,200 square foot house, right? It's not very big. If you have $500,000, you're probably living in a condo in New York. If you have $500,000, you're, you're probably staying in a one story house, not very big, kind of old out in LA, not very big. 
if you have five hundred thousand dollars in Houston, if you got five hundred thousand dollars in Houston, you could buy the block. You could buy the block. You could probably buy a four thousand, five thousand square foot house with uh five hundred thousand dollars in Houston, depending on the area. For five hundred thousand dollars, you could buy the block, the entire block. Yes, that's right. So. My deal was, if you live in LA, you got family, and you guys are, you live in LA, and you're single, and you got a kind of career where you could pick up and move, and you want to get a super duper gigantic head start on investing into the stock market, you could sell your house in LA that you live in, 120, I mean, a 1200 foot square house, you could sell that house and pick up and move to Austin, you can move to Houston, you can move to Atlanta and buy a $250,000 house that's bigger than your house in LA. And it's also only 45 to an hour minute drive to the beach all the way to Galveston, right? So you buy a house for $250,000 straight outright. Boom, you buy a house, you got a front yard, you got a backyard, it's 3,000 square feet. And now you got an extra $250,000 that you can buy six more rental properties right you can use that you can use that two hundred fifty thousand dollars to buy six more rental properties you can use that two hundred fifty thousand dollars and invest that into the stock market you can use that two hundred fifty thousand dollars and start your own business you can use that extra two hundred fifty thousand dollars that you got from selling your house in la buying a house in houston and now you got two hundred fifty thousand dollars that is your money your equity that you could play around with you can invest into the stock market you can invest into a real estate game you can do a lot with that two hundred fifty thousand dollars but the only drawback is that you gotta move right so it's all on you that you could literally quit your job in la sell your house for five hundred thousand move to houston buy a two hundred fifty thousand dollar house that's bigger than your house in la buy six rental properties and retire. You can live in Houston off the cash that you're making off your six rental properties in Houston while you're living in a bigger house than you lived in in LA. The only thing that changed is the location. And I mean, you don't even have to work anymore, but that's all about um, the choices that you guys want to make. So that was just a little idea that I came up with. Even though you could still stay in California, you could pick up from LA, move, 30, 45 minutes outside of LA, commute, buy a $250,000 house out there, buy a couple more rental properties around in that area, rent those out and still use those properties to pay your mortgage on a house that you want to buy back inside of the city. But you know, that's going to be very tough because it's so expensive to live out there. It's recommended that you move to a cheaper city like Austin, Houston, uh, Atlanta. So to show you guys that I'm not tripping, I'm going to pull up Zillow right now to show you guys uh, some of the houses that you could buy in LA for $500,000 compared to some of the houses you could buy in Houston for $250,000. All right, guys, here we go. We have um, Los Angeles pulled up. Let's put in the price point minimum of, let's say, $400,000. Actually, let's do $450,000 and the maximum is $500,000 thousand dollars right so we're gonna hit done and then we're gonna draw what is this remove let's draw a circle around la all right let's see what can we get if you guys live in los angeles hit apply there we go uh we got a four hundred eighty five thousand dollar house for 1500 square feet $488,000 house for 800 square feet. Um, here we go, $450,000 for 1,000 square feet. $499,000 for 670 square feet. Go another house, 720 square feet. Another house, um, 1,200 square feet. 1,300 square feet, 1,000 square feet, 1,000 square feet. I mean, these are nice houses, you know, but they're worth $500,000 to go to another one for 1,000 square feet. Now let's type in Houston, Texas, where they make this incredible beer. And once again, you're still, there goes the, 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 the ocean right around here. That's the Gulf Coast of Mexico out there leading to the ocean. All right, so let's change this 
from I mean just just looking at the five hundred thousand dollar house, you could get four thousand square feet, three thousand six hundred square feet, four thousand square feet, you know, up in that area, five thousand square feet. But let's just change it to two hundred and fifty thousand. So let's say two hundred thousand to two hundred and fifty thousand. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so now you're getting the houses with a pool for 2,300 square feet, 2,100 square feet, 2,400 square feet, 2,300 square feet, 23, 21, 27. You know, and this house is not even $250,000, guys. It's 25,000 square feet, 2,700, 2,800 square feet. And that's, 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 20, that's $2,500 right there, I mean. And that's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars right here, guys. Those right here, three thousand square feet for two twenty, two thousand six hundred square feet for two forty four, and you also in the what the third largest city in America. So these are just a, a, a small example. These not even all the houses that are on in the market in Houston. You could get a lot more, but these are just the ones that are, are on Zillow. Okay, guys. All right, so that was just a quick example of like if you have if you own a house out in LA or any expensive city, pick up, move to a cheaper city and invest that money. It will pay off in the long run, especially if you're young, especially if you don't already have kids in the family and they're already in school and they have friends and all this and all that. Houston's not a bad city, guys. Atlanta's not a bad city. Austin's not a bad city. There's a many, there are many other cities in America that are cheaper than where you currently live. And you can take that money, that equity that you have in a $500,000 house and invest that into the stock market. So like I was saying, there's a lot of cheaper places that you guys can move, it's, but it's all about you, know, you taking that $500,000, you take that equity, buy a cheaper house that's actually bigger than the house you live in, and invest in the rest of the $250,000 into real estate or into the stock market to where if you invest $250,000 into a company like AT&T, you will make well over $1,000 per month in dividends alone just from investing that money into AT&T. Or you can invest it into the real estate um, market and make your returns that way. That was just an idea that I came up with. I just thought I'd sit down and share it with you guys. That I was this rich guy that you guys think I am. I'm, I'm broke. All right, when it comes to the other YouTubers, I got $200,000 account and they've been doing it for a long time. Like I said, you guys are on this journey with me. If you'd like to join the dream team, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And if you hit that like button, then maybe, maybe, I will become this rich person that y'all think I am. Until then, I'm just gonna continue to buy one or two shares a week like I could afford. And I'm just showing you guys that the average Joe, just like me, uh, can invest into the stock market as well. And the hardest part is just getting started and being consistent. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.